But first on Fox, cutting ties. The Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners just made a decision about its relationship with the historic Latta Plantation. It's in response to a controversial slavery event that was originally planned for Juneteenth. Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow is live at the Government Center with details tonight. And Emma, this decision just came down. It did. We just got out of the meeting, Lindsay, and the Parks and Recreation Director said that Mecklenburg County will not be renewing their agreement with Latta Plantation this next year. And this, like you said, this all comes about because of that controversial event that they had planned for Juneteenth. Now, the event in itself was called Kingdom Coming. Now, it described a slave owner on the run after the freedom of his slaves, and social media pushback along with a tweet from Mayor Vi Lyles has caused quite the stir up, and tonight the county questioned the Parks and Rec Department on how this type of event was even allowed in the first place. The site manager of Latta Plantation, Ian Campbell, released a statement defending their planned event, saying he wanted to unveil ignorance and would never promote white supremacy, but all of the commissioners didn't buy it and were extremely upset tonight. So it brings back a lot of hurt and it rubs us the wrong way. And in so rubbing us the wrong way, you want us to be right. And I want everybody to be treated fairly. All of us to be treated fairly and respected. Many of the commissioners asked the Parks and Recreation Director how this type of thing wasn't caught quicker, but he didn't have an answer. He said that the Latta Plantation is required to notify Mecklenburg County of events, but that didn't happen in this case. And tonight they discussed other events that were planned, such as these camps at Latta Plantation where girls were able to learn how to be a Southern Belle and boys were able to learn how to be Civil War soldiers, and all of the commissioners were extremely upset about those as well, so that was all part of the discussion tonight, but it sounds like the agreement will not be renewed starting June 30th, this June. You guys?